you can keep in mind game is a matter of being a guy that just gets it. Keep in your head. Fuck me or fuck off. If I don't want to hear from you, if we're not moving towards sex, these guys will ask me how many times should I go out with a girl to, you know, do I go out one time with her and we don't close. So I never see her again. Two times, three times, three being kind of like that universal socially acceptable number of dates that most girls, you know, yeah, we went out three times and then, you know, we, we messed around that night. But uh, so, and then there's some that will go further than that. And some girls will string you out as far as you'll go. You know, they, that's their job. They're users. They're a very small minority. And most guys in our world are, are what, not easy marks girls get around guys that even if you're watching this you're separating yourself from the vast majority of men who are clueless and girls that like to use men avoid men who just get it they can pick up if you buy their bullshit pretty early on even if you kind of mask it they're much better at sensing if this guy is a mark or is he you know, one of us. Um, so that kind of helps filter, but sometimes girls aren't that smart. They actually do start dating a player or, or one of us that knows what's going on. So fuck me or fuck off means you can go out with a girl, you know, once you kind of get into this, you'll learn that you close on almost always the first date, maybe the second and most I never went on a third date. It's just the, the way it is. And if you get my system, like how to build a dating system, you won't go out on a third date either before you close. It's one first or second. And this is, this is general, general um, game coaching is most guys are like either closing first night or second night. There's never really any third. Um, because we overcome all those obstacles really early on. But again, guys will say, Hey, you know, I really like this girl. And how many times should I go out with her? And if you're in a unique position and things haven't closed, are you the, the answer you, you, the, the answer to your question is, should I ask this girl out again? Let's say you've gone out three times and you haven't closed because there's always special, special conditions, special, special cases is, are you moving further towards sex each time you meet up? If like you guys don't kiss on the first date, you guys kiss on the second date, the third date, there's heavy groping. Should you go out on a fourth date? Probably. If you, you know, if you're open to giving it another shot because you've been escalating, physically escalating each day. And that's great. I mean, some girls just will take a little bit longer and these are unique circumstances but should you decide to invest, it's not a bad investment if that's what you want to do. What is a bad investment is if you like make out on the first date, groping on the second, and then on the third date, she doesn't want to like kiss. And you're like, we're going backwards. So you just cut it off right there. Anytime that you're not making progress towards sex, you just, you got to bail out because it's not going to get any better. So it's either fuck me or fuck off. I don't want to hear from you if we're not moving towards sex. And that's another thing is guys will reach out and this is a good, it'll be an ex or a girl that disappeared or, you know, a girl that wants to, you know, use you for attention. And it's like, Oh, Hey, what's up? Hey, you want to come over? No. Okay. Well, got to go. And coach Corey Wayne was the first one that really clued me into this. Like when girls, just reach out randomly. It's, you want to come over? Nope. Okay, well, got to go. You want to meet up for a drink? Nope. Okay, well, got to go. Because you're only here to move towards meeting up. You know, you're not there to be a sponge or an emotional tampon or a Kleenex or, you know, a cum rag for her emotions. You are here to have fun. And if she can't be part of the fun group, she's got to get off the phone or get out of your life. So just know that it's either we're moving towards sex or we're not moving at all and you got to go. 
So that's the real deal. Fuck me or fuck off. I don't want to hear from you if we're not moving towards sex. Very cut and dry. Let's see what else we got on the time.